Hey guys, what's up? This is Nainia from Techbatic Solutions and today we are going to review the Raspberry Pi. Let's begin the review with the design of the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is nothing but a hardware. The Raspberry Pi offers us with two USB slots which are USB 2.0, a Ethernet slot, a headphone jack which is 3.5 mm compatible, a RCA video out, a micro USB slot for powering the device an HDMI cable so these are basically the components that are provided to us and last but not the least a SD card slot now this is the big SD card and not the smaller one so this is the SDHC card slot if we take a look at the memory department we are not provided with any memory storage of any sort as I told you earlier, Raspberry Pi is nothing but a hardware device. So there is no memory storage provided to us. You have to buy external SD card that is a SDHC card and it is compatible up to 32 GB right over here. So you can get a storage of up to 32 GB that is pretty much good and most of the smartphones are providing 32 GB. There are certain smartphones which provide 128 GB but that is pretty much good because 32 GB can allow us uh, allow you to watch movies or do your day to day task now you can even expand your storage by either connecting USB drives or external hard disk but the issue is the external hard disk should be self powered because this particular device cannot carry so much of power so expect to get at least 32 GB of storage at the minimum so that's pretty good Let's talk about the hardware of the device. I know we are already having the hardware but I mean the internals like the processor or the RAM. So there are two models for this device. One is the model A and second is the model B. The model A has five, uh, two, 256 MB RAM embedded on the hardware and the model B has 512 MB RAM directly embedded on the hardware. So since the hardware, since the RAM is directly embedded on the hardware, you cannot upgrade the RAM by any sort or any means and that is basically done to keep the cost of the device as low as possible now the processor used is Broadcom 700 megahertz processor which can be overclocked to 800 megahertz and it makes use of the ARM v6 CPU architecture now it is again on the lower end and that's basically because Raspberry Pi organization wants to keep the cost of the device as minimum minimal as possible so what are the applications of the Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi is a very good device to play almost any sort of media file on a television. Now this particular functionality is really good for users who have television which are not smart televisions and which do not have USB slots. So these televisions are not, cannot play any sort of media file. But if you have a HDMI slot on your television and you have this Raspberry Pi, you are bound to play any sort of media file on your television and that's a really great feature you can run you can create your own web server on the raspberry pi and that's really awesome for really small town startups or small companies who are planning to make a website and create their own web servers for reducing the cost so this is a really nice option the raspberry pi but mark my words this device cannot handle much amount of traffic and bandwidth so expect to get a poor performance on the server end. Second, third, you can use it as a network attached storage or create a FTP server or share files using the Raspberry Pi. Fourth, you can run almost any sort of Linux operating system like Fedora Remix or Firefox operating system or Android operating system or even the default that's the Raspbian operating system. You can run basic applications like web browser or you could run spreadsheets or you could run PDF files or something like that or even play casual games now the best part of the Raspberry Pi comes in the later application that is completely different like for macro photography just think about using your Raspberry Pi for macro photography you can get close-ups really clean and sharp with the help of a Raspberry Pi you could use it for starting a coffee machine you could use it for scanning files and just mailing you know you can just create that particular system and just scan mail, scan mail. That kind of system works in many places. And these small, small based applications are really 
the best uh, the best application that you can get from your Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi creates a new aura of applications and this device is not meant for operating system. It is meant for doing something else like macro photography or playing any media file or you know even starting a coffee machine. So these kind of applications will keep on coming up and if you go to raspberrypi.org you will get tons of applications. So just visit it and get more list of applications. I listed out tons of applications of the Raspberry Pi but how is the performance that's the major part of this device well at playing media files this device does a brilliant job playing 1080p files which are blu-ray rips it performs like a charm there's no lag and the files work like a charm once again second this device cannot run full desktop based applications I mean the operating system because the applications lag a lot and that's basically because of the poor processor and if the processor was a bit better the performance would have been to a next level now because the processor is weak even viewing PDF files creates some amount of lag viewing websites also creates lags especially websites like simple websites like my own website techbarrick.com or even running youtube.com the home page is very small still it creates a lag and if you run multiple applications you will instantly get a hundred percent CPU usage and I don't mean about the RAM the processor goes to the hundred percent usage the RAM is apt the 512 MB RAM is apt however the 256 MB RAM is not apt for the device so I would suggest you go for the 512 MB RAM model but the performance by the processor end is bad now this device is great for you know macro photography or these small small based applications like even starting a coffee machine because it does not have to do much beyond that so applications like playing media files or even for macro photography starting a coffee machine it's great now this device again is poor at creating a web server now it cannot handle large amount of traffic and that's basically because of the hardware of the device it's not that great so don't expect great amount of traffic support for from this device if you have created a web server now this device is great for like file sharing, creating file sharing on your own home network, connecting multiple personal computers or something of that sort. So that's really nice on this device. At the end, I would just conclude by saying that this device is a marvelous innovation from the Raspberry Pi organization. What they have done is they have brought more amount of developers and newbies to the Linux operating system so that they can learn about the Linux command line and even create applications for Linux. Now what Raspberry Pi organization has added to this device is the Raspberry Pi store which allows users to upload applications, tutorials, media files and earn money from the Raspberry Pi store. So that's really nice. So we are seeing that Raspberry Pi is trying to create a new developer community for this device and this device has got a bright future. Now one of the best applications of this device is as I told you is playing media files of any format. And this device has got a different aura of applications as I told you earlier. Now, the problem with this device is lack of Wi-Fi connectivity, which I think should have been there. Even though the cost would have gone up by like 5 to 10 dollars, this device should have had Wi-Fi connectivity because everything is going wireless today. And second, this device should have had a better processor because running operating systems of desktop based does not perform well. But playing files like media files performs well so as I told you this device has got a different aura of applications and at the end I would just say that this device is a 3.5 stars on 5 for me and the 1.5 stars which I am re re removing is basically because of the lack of Wi-Fi and bad processor. So that's it with this review guys I hope you liked it please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrick.com.